Matt Lesher's Eobard Thawne will appear in next week's episode of DC's Legends of Tomorrow, and fans now know what his role will be in the next season thanks to yesterday night's episode. The crew flies back in time to save Archduke Franz Ferdinand's life, therefore ending World War I, in the episode The Fixed Point. They didn't want to save Ferdinand since it would create irreversible harm to the chronology. Instead, they intended to rescue him for a short time, attracting the attention of the corrupted Gideon and evil Waverider, the season's main antagonists. The plan was to seize control of the parallel Waverider while the evil robot legends were occupied attempting to fix the timeline anomaly and their Gideon was left alone. One minor issue. In the DC universe, time develops a sort of immunological reaction to the alteration of major events. As a result, Sarah Lance spends most of the episode attempting to save Ferdinand and failing, then attempting again and learning from her mistakes. Sarah's regenerative talents allow her to, as she says, live, die, repeat, despite the fact that a never-ending line of time travelers have done it before and most have died. Sarah finds the nature of time's immune reaction, which turns out to be a familiar figure fighting against her interests, and things get a little more difficult than they look. That's when Eobard Thawne enters the picture. This is not the Thawne who just appeared on The Flash, but a version who is taking up right where he left off in Legends of Tomorrow's second season finale when he was slain by the Black Flash. And, as previously stated, he is played by Matt Lesher, who is the real face of Thawne, rather than Tom Cavanagh, who plays the character with the face of Harrison Wells. He doesn't have access to the negative speed force here, but the time wraiths have given him a technology that allows him to freeze time. He is stationed on the day of Ferdinand's assassination and tasked with preventing any time travelers from attempting to travel back in time. Enter Sarah, who devises a method of evading the device and defeats Thawne in combat. Rather than murdering him, she enjoys a drink with an old foe and tells him about her plan, as well as the fact that she has no desire to truly break time. He agrees to make it look as if Ferdinand has been rescued, giving the legends 40 minutes to face the battle against the evil robot legends. We're guessing there's more to Thawne than this. He is, after all, Thawne. What are the chances he isn't planning to hitchhike on the Waverider to avoid his time-consuming public service? But, at least on the surface, we now know exactly what his function is in Rage Against the Machines next week. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.